Hello, I'm Craig Gentry, and in today's video, we're gonna replicate the foil boat method made famous by Chud's Barbecue. Chud's Barbecue is a YouTube channel hosted by a fella named Bradley Robinson. He's a pitmaster in Austin, Texas, and he used to work at a famous food truck called Leroy and Lewis, who's known for developing this foil boat brisket technique. Now, I'm no professional. I'm just a backyard barbecue hack like most of his viewers, but I've been watching his videos and taking notes, and I'm going to attempt his method today, except instead of doing it on an offset smoker like he does it, I'm going to do it on my master-built Gravity Series 800. I've got my hopper loaded all the way to the max with a mix of Kings for Briquettes and lots and lots of post oak. This is my first time cooking with post oak. I'm really excited about using it. We live in Western Kentucky and it's not readily available at a lot of places. I found this on a trip down to Alabama recently. So I got a couple bags of it and it's gonna be my first time cooking with it. It's gonna be my first oak smoked brisket. Let's fire this thing up and do some cooking. Y'all check out this grill grate I got from Amazon. It fits perfectly in this middle rack on the Masterbuilt 800. It doesn't fit in the top shelf. It won't let the door shut, but the middle rack, it's perfect. It's a whole lot bigger than the one that it comes with. So you can pretty much double your capacity from your bottom grate. I'll put a link in the description down below if you wanna check it out. What we have here is a 12 and a half pound USDA prime brisket from Sam's Club. That's where I always get my briskets from. I usually get choice. I had prime this time, so I was uh, able to step up my game a little bit. Now, Chud's Barbecue does a simple salt and pepper rub. He uses two parts 16 mesh black pepper and one part uh, kosher salt. So that's what I've got mixed up. I did one cup of 16 mesh black pepper and a half a cup of um, Morton Crystal kosher salt. I trimmed this brisket off camera because I'm not real experienced at it and I didn't know if I was going to butcher it up or not, but I think Sam's Club had it butchered up before I even got it. I had this big flap on the side. I'm not sure how that's going to come out. I probably ended up trimming off like four pounds off this brisket. Um, so hopefully it'll turn into something. Okay, the brisket is on at 2.50. It's currently midnight. I'm gonna go get a few hours of sleep. Actually, as small as this thing trimmed up, I'm kind of concerned it's gonna cook too fast. So I'm gonna be up at about five in the morning and I'm gonna check on it and uh, hopefully we're doing okay. Hopefully it's not overcooked. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's currently 6 a.m. I just checked the probe, it's probing right at 170. I'm gonna give it another 10 degrees internal before I pull it and wrap it. I figure that's probably gonna take a couple more hours. With these scraps that I trimmed off the brisket, I'm gonna roll those in the rub and I'm gonna put them on and hopefully make some burnt ends out of it or something like that. Maybe I can have that for lunch. And also, I put the, the fat trimmings uh, and some small pans in there. They've been smoking all night as well. I'm gonna try to make some beef tallow. I've never made beef tallow before. I uh, don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I don't want anything to go to waste, so we'll see how that does. I got a mixing bowl set up with uh, two strainers and a coffee filter in between the two. And I'm just gonna pour this rendered down beef fat in there. Hopefully I got it, hopefully I smoked this long enough to put some flavor into it. I think whatever's remaining in this, in these cups, I'm gonna put on the stove to render down a little further, see if I can get a little bit more out of it. Guys, 
guys, 7.30 in the morning. It's a little frosty out today. Sun's just now coming up. It's a beautiful morning. The brisket is probing right at 180, so it's time to pull it and do the actual foil boat part of the foil boat method. I'm gonna start with two layers of heavy duty aluminum foil. Now to make our boat, we're just gonna scrunch up the foil around the edges of the brisket. And what this will do is it'll help cover up the, the, the edges here and keep the heat off of that, keep it from overcooking and burning, but it'll expose the top, uh, the fat cap there, and let more smoke hit that and penetrate it, continue to render it. Um, and it'll also collect all the juices in the bottom of the boat, and that will help speed up the cook. It'll kind of steam from the bottom and help speed up the cook. I'm hoping that that will help protect the bottom from overcooking. Um, you know, generally people do uh, briskets on an offset cooker that has a convective flow that goes sideways, but the Gravity Series, um, you know, the firebox is over on the right, but it gets blown in with a fan into the middle of the cooking chamber. So the heat basically comes from um, down low and comes up. It's supposed to circulate and make like a barrel. Uh, circular rotation inside the smoker before it bends out the back so I'm hoping that uh, that it does that and it doesn't have just direct heat on the bottom so we'll see how this does on the brisket and uh, so we're gonna fool about this put it back on the cooker until it hits 200 degrees Go ahead and pack it in tight like you're doing your normal Texas crutch, except you, you roll it outwards and uh, kind of come up over the top a little bit here, leave the top fat cap exposed. Uh, this should be ready to go back on the smoker. I'm gonna let the brisket go until it hits an internal temperature of 200 degrees. Then after that, I'm gonna pull it, we're gonna let it cool down a little bit, and then we're gonna do a heated rest until it's ready to serve. Guys, this beef tallow came out beautifully. I've never made this before. It's not bad for a first timer, huh? I made enough to fill up this whole jar here, and I had a little bit left over, so I poured it inside the little foil boat. And speaking of the foil boat, it's 930, it's just temping over, uh, just right around 200 degrees, so it's time to pull it. The brisket's considered done now, so uh, now it's gonna go into a long heated hold until it's time to eat, which will be about six o'clock tonight. So the heated hold can, um, you're good to go for like five to 20 hours, so you can hold it overnight. You can use your home oven. Um, most of them go down to 170 degrees. Chud's Barbecue recommends 155, that's his preferred uh, temperature. Lucky for me, my smoker goes down that low. It goes down to 150, so I'm gonna bump the heat down to 155 like he recommends, and I'm gonna pull the brisket out, set it on the counter, and just let it cool down to probably, um, I'm gonna let it go down to about 170. And when it's, once it comes down that low, I'm gonna put it back onto the smoker for the heated rest until it's ready to eat. So here we have it guys, here is our uh, foil boat brisket, it's done. It's gonna go in the house to rest for a little bit, bring the tip down. Um, we'll return to the smoker right now, it smells delicious. That pepper on there smells so good. So I'm gonna let it cool for a bit and uh, we'll put it back on the smoker. And just like that, it's dark again. 6 p.m., I'm ready to pull this thing off the smoker. It's had a good long heated rest. Um, I think putting it back on the smoker at a low temperature was a terrible idea. Um, you know, this the smoker holds temp pretty well, pretty consistently, 
but whenever I put it down low at 150, it didn't. So it was all over the place. I had a probe on the rack watching it. It wasn't holding the temp around 155. I looked at it, it'd be 180 or sometimes it'd be 130. It was all over the place. If you put it up around 250 or whatever, then it's it's pretty good, pretty consistent, but being down low like that, it was all over the place. So we'll see, we'll cross our fingers. Let's pull it off, slice into it, and let's see how we did. How's that look? Does that look pretty good to you? It's a little jiggly. It's not super jiggly, but it doesn't look too bad. This was a weird cut. I don't think I got a very good cut of meat. It kind of cooked up funny compared to the other briskets I've done. It looks super weird after it cooked, after I was, I was done trimming it. Very, very barky. It's flaking off. It's losing some of the bark. Pour all of this tallow right back onto it. How's that look? Well, it looks very, very juicy. It smells delicious. Let's take a cut of this lean here. Hoping that focuses, but I don't know if it will. See a real nice, pretty smoke ring around the bottom. It's pretty tender. It's kind of th well. I cut that one a little thick to do the bend test. Slice another one. Not super floppy. Let's see how it pulls. Ooh. Nice. Look at all that fat. Look at it just running off of there. Oh, that right there, very, very bendy. That right there looks really, really good. I'm gonna do my first taste. One bite, you know the rules.
boys, it's good. I'm telling you. Might have to take a second bite. Mmm. Man, that's fantastic. That is not the best brisket that I've ever had, but it's certainly the best that I've ever cooked. Just a few more slices of this. I need to slice into this lean here. I need to taste it out. <clears throat> I like that center portion of the lean there. That's some of my favorite. I'll pull those two apart. A little more of that tallow on there. Let's taste this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, that's good. I'm just going to go ahead and slice this whole brisket up. I got in-laws coming over to eat dinner tonight. It is easy to slice, that's for sure. That looks good. That lean side, man, that looks really good. I'm gonna have to take a bite of that. Mm, mm, mm. Trying to get a good shot of that. Hopefully it'll focus. I hope you can see that pretty well. I think we did. That looks good to me. I'm loving this. This is really good brisket. This came out better than I expected, honestly. The Gravity Series ran for about 20 hours straight. Uh, never had a hiccup. Never had a flaw. Did awesome. Um, did a great job cooking this brisket. Taste is incredible. Super, super easy. I was asleep last night while this thing was doing the hard work. So uh, shout out to Master Bill for building such a great smoker. So easy for us amateurs to use and get really good results like this. Big shout out to Chud for, uh, for sharing with us the secrets of the foil boat method. Um, I know that he's not the only one doing it, but you know, he's, uh, he's got a lot of people on it and, and uh, because of him, I know about it. So it was really worth it for me to try it. It's way better than the method that I was using. So uh, big shout out to Chud. Thank you so much for making great content. Um, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and I'll see you the next time I fire this thing up.